Imagine you're building an app, but you have zero programming skills. Wait, seriously? You're kidding, right? How would it feel if, instead of typing lines of code, you just said what you wanted, and your screen started filling up with fully working code? No syntax errors, no missing semicolons, just clean, flawless automation. Sounds like sci-fi? It's not. This is 100% real, and it's happening right now, but with a lot of nuance. The answer? Wait for it. Keep waiting. Vibe coding. Close your eyes. Feel it. No, it's not about coding to lo-fi beats. Though, honestly, that might not be the worst idea. Coders say it's not just a trend. It's a full-on shift in how software gets made. Some devs swear it's the future. Others call it a disaster waiting to happen. Unreadable code, security holes, and a whole generation of coders who don't actually know how to code. Who's right and who's wrong? Let's dig into it, because if this is news to you, you're already way behind. The idea sounds simple. You tell the AI what you want, and boom, it writes the code for you. Feels like magic. But spoiler, it's not that simple. Inconceivable! The term vibe coding was first coined by Andre Karpathy, co-founder of OpenAI and former head of AI at Tesla. Since then, it's been echoing through dev communities like a startup pitch at a VC brunch. Tools like Cursor, Windsurf, Replit, Claude, and Lovable are already in the wild, but Cursor stands out as the current fan favorite. It jumped from 1 million to 100 million in ARR in just one year, making it the fastest growing SaaS company in history. And then Peter Levels added fuel to the fire. He built a flight simulator game using AI in just three hours. Sounds absurd, right? But it worked. The game now brings in over $57,000 a month. Not bad for something he whipped up over a coffee break. But here's the catch. For every success story like Peter's, countless developers find themselves stuck in an AI-induced debugging nightmare. Well, this guy on Reddit took a humorous turn at it. Code that looks fine, until it breaks everything. AI may write code fast, but it also writes a lot of bugs. Even Peter admits that only four out of his 70 projects made money. That's a 94% failure rate. AI-generated code is often messy, inefficient, and full of holes. It skips best practices, ignores structure, and creates a false sense of progress. As Pedro Domingos writes in The Master Algorithm, every AI is just an algorithm trained on past data. Not a mind, not a genius, and definitely not a replacement for one. The real danger? Junior devs start skipping the basics, like debugging, because AI does it for them. Companies are already shipping AI-generated code at scale. That means unstable, insecure apps spreading across the internet. A couple years ago, a major credit card company suffered a data breach due to a vulnerability in its AI-powered chatbot, exposing personal data of millions of customers. Where does the real problem lie? It hits junior developers the hardest. Vibe coding lets them skip the basics entirely. They generate working code but don't understand what's under the hood. When their projects need to scale or face edge cases, everything breaks. And the companies that thought they could save money by replacing engineers with AI? They end up hiring senior developers anyway, just to clean up the mess. Software isn't just about writing code, it's about maintaining it over time. And that's exactly where AI falls short. A developer opening an AI-generated project a year later might find it totally unreadable, like opening someone else's dream journal but in JSON. Security is the biggest blind spot in AI-generated code. LLMs are trained on open source code, but they don't understand security best practices, they generate vulnerabilities without warning, and they copy code snippets that lead to licensing violations. Guardio Labs tested this with vibe scamming, challenging AI models to create phishing schemes. Lovable produced a fake Microsoft login page to capture data, while ChatGPT refused. Developers are shifting from writing code to managing the AI that writes it, as one put it, it's like being a product manager for an AI junior dev. Will AI replace developers? Not all of them, just the ones who stop leveling up. While you're meticulously typing every bracket and semicolon, your competitors are building entire features in hours and spending their freed up time mastering system architecture and business logic that actually matter. This shift doesn't make software engineers obsolete. It changes what being a developer means. AI is a tool, not a team. If you're starting with AI coding tools, here's how not to get lost. Start with one small project, like a to-do app. Write a version manually first, then build the same using AI prompts, 
and then compare, debug, and rewrite. That's how you train the muscle, by doing both. At Hyperskill, we don't just teach you to copy-paste prompts. We empower you to write, debug, and scale robust code, ensuring that when AI output goes haywire, you're in control. Over 700,000 people use Hyperskill to build real-world projects, because in the era of vibe coding, understanding code is your competitive edge. Tried vibe coding yourself? Share your thoughts in the comments.